most exciting person that you've met doing this? You can go first. <laughs> um, well, I took a fast liking to Max Irons. <laughs> From the host. <laughs> From the host. I basically was pushed into him when I first met him and he was drunk and he was just talking about nonsense and it was so exciting <laughs> for me. Um, the other person was probably Dan Waters. He was just so interesting to talk to because I love Vampire Academy and he is like a teenage girl talking to him and it was so much fun. I really liked meeting Veronica Roth, who's oh, the, yeah, Veronica. The, the writer of Divergent. We had a little moment because at that point we had the exact same hair and we're also the same height. So we were like, we're twinsies! So now whenever I see her, we're like, we're twinsies! And it's funny. But, yeah, she's just really nice and she's also obsessed with Harry Potter and is just overall a really cool, nerdy person. And, um, let me see, I have the actors. The first time I ever went to a premiere was the Twilight premiere and um, I was so nervous that I didn't even want to interview anyone. Mm -hmm. Um, I was just so completely nervous, so I had the other girl I was with uh, film me, and I was just kind of like completely flabbergasted when Kristen Stewart. Oh <laughs> I don't know, like it's funny because nowadays, like I try not to be starstruck by anyone. Oh yeah. But yesterday at the Divergent junket, I got totally starstruck by Shailene Woodley. Like I did, like she was so. Uh, it was like because don't like, don't look at her. It was actually kind of sad because she she we were we were editing and she walked into like the little area we were in, and. Um, I, like, I, I don't want to, like, annoy anyone, so I literally, like, just looked down, which was, like, the most awkward thing I possibly could have done, and she was like, hey, and then, and then Natasha was like, hey, and I was like, why did I do that? But yeah, that, that was a cool thing. I didn't actually meet Shailene Woodley, but maybe I will at the premiere. Which is well, like, we yeah. said hey to her, so. Yeah, she said hey to her. I was like a oh, silent, yeah, I, said hey I was her. like a silent, awkward turtle, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. I think probably interesting for me was meeting Robert Pattinson for the first time. Oh, yeah. Robert Pattinson, because I was just so obsessed with Twilight, and then like finally being able to meet him, it was just so, I hate this word, but it was so surreal. Yeah, no, no, it, that's, actually, that would probably be it. Like, it's it's weird for me now, because I'm like looking back on it, and now it's not as like, oh my god, because it's been a while, like, like time kind of buffers it. But when I first saw Robert Pattinson, too, I was kind of like pretty, pretty, like, we, we seem such a, like such fangirls right now, but it's like, Twilight was our first thing. Yeah. Is each book to adaptation still exciting as it was when you were obsessed with Twilight? No, not no, anymore. Not it's anymore. kind of actually sad that that's the case. Here's the, here's the thing. When we were obsessed with Twilight, 15, 14 years old, like, we were teenagers, like, this was our, like, our first experience doing this, like, we matured through Twilight, like, both of us did. Yeah, like, uh, what I, like I said before, when I did the Twilight premiere, I literally was so nervous that I can't, couldn't talk to anyone, and now I do this all the time, like, I talk to... It's like a job. It's like, it's like my job it's to job. interview it people is a job. and be professional. So nowadays, like, it can't be a fangirl anymore. You can't, or else you look so unprofessional. You look stupid. You can't be a fake girl. Like you, yeah. you, like you're in a press junket. You're invited to this thing. You can't go up to someone. Can I have? Let's do selfie. Let's do selfie. Like, no, you, just you get kicked out. Yeah, that's, that's actually part of the reason why I didn't want. I don't like to. Like the the thing about me not wanting to bother celebrities, it gets it gets like over like too much to the point where I don't even want to like make eye contact with them. Like I'm I'm fine when I interview them, but when they're just being themselves in life, like I know they don't know me, yeah. so I don't want to annoy them. So like I don't know, I have an awkward awkward situation in that respect. But it it it's like I still get really excited, but the um it's kind of sad though. We've definitely gotten a little bit jaded by it all, but yeah. it's still it's still really exciting. It's still very exciting, and we are very blessed to do all of these things. Yeah, no, and I'm, we are so thankful. Yeah, do I realize every day? I'm just like, wow, like this is completely crazy that we get to do this. But you have to realize that we don't do it every day. This is no. a very rare, it's very, very rare. Like, and we, we work really hard. Yeah, we work. We work like literally almost 24 hours. Like I work like 24 hours a day, not 24 hours a day. <laughs> like 12. I work like 12 hours 16, a day, 16. 16 hours a day. I have my phone out all the time to do this. Like, and we, it's like all day, every day, seven days a week. We don't get weekends off, um, and then we do this like once every five months. It's, a, it's like it's like our present. Yeah, it's a present. It's, it's like it's like thank you, thank you for doing all that work. Here's here's some fun. Yeah, here's yeah. Fun. <laughs> if you could play the part of any character in any book, who would it be and why? Do you have an answer for that question, Natasha? <laughs> Lois Lane. <laughs> Yay! Awesome. 
she's not. She's in a comic book. Does that still count? No, that totally counts. Okay, I, I take that answer. Um, for me, you want to be Hazel Grace. Hazel Grace from the Fall in Our Stars. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's who I would play. I would like to do that. But I don't know. Who, who do you think I should play? Well, it's just, she she suffers so much. I know, but you I want to suffer. I don't want to suffer. I want to. I want. I don't know. Like I. I just. I. I uh, feel like I'm similar to her, but I feel like every girl does. But I feel like. I don't know. I just really love this book. It's really good. Well, <laughs> yeah. Fun fact: she did a little short film. I did a little short film. I was I was. I just really wanted to do it. It's not amazing, but I, I, it was fun. <laughs> yes. Um. I don't know. I don't know who you should be. Daisy. Daisy from Great Gatsby. Woo woo. Oh, actually, no. How about no. No. She kind of has a horrible life too. No, she does. Not, not, all these people that we're talking about, their lives are kind of stressful. Not Lois. Well, it's a little stressful. Her life. She's always but been Augustus, saved. If you're Hazel, you get to hang out with Augustus for a little short time. Spoilers. <laughs> What's the process like for getting press passes and all the red carpet equipment? Well, we can't tell you everything. No, yeah, but. I will give you inside info. Um, so basically what happened was, like I said, with Twilight for his goldeneyes.com, um, I didn't know that I could do this professionally. I had no clue. I thought I was just making a fan site and I loved doing the fan site part. That's what I liked. I wasn't, go I wasn't trying to be a press celebrity interviewer or anything. I was just like, you know, let's do this. It's fun times. Um, but then what happened was is that someone from the studio or a PR company from the studio, they called and invited me to go to the premiere for Twilight, and then I had that contact, and then miraculously, the same person from there knows me really well now because I've known him for years. For years, and he's doing Divergent, he's doing Vampire Academy, he just miraculously is doing all of that. So I don't. It's like it's hard to build. It's like basically what you do is you build a relationship. Yeah, the basic. Just basically, you just build relationships with people, and and they know that you are passionate and you. Are good at what you do. When you're good at what you do, then they'll let you do things. Yeah, that's how it works. And it's, it's like it, it's important to have uh, the reason why they let you do these things is because that it's because that you you're are professional. You're professional, and you're also getting out to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So they, it's good advertising for them. So that's why they let you do it. So <laughs> okay, so basically, I got a camera at Staples, and <laughs> that's by actually I bought a, I bought a, a Canon handheld HD camera from Staples and then I got this little thing to pull my mic. Need, if you're gonna do a website like me, like his like pagepremiere.com, you don't need the camera that like goes on your shoulder, shoulder and it's like no. epic. It's like it doesn't matter because all you're going doing is the red carpet and the video is gonna go on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So all you need is HD. And HD cameras are like the size of like grains of sand nowadays. So yeah. my it, you don't need crazy equipment. The equipment isn't the problem. The, um, so it does help to have a monopod, yeah, which need, I experienced at Vampire Academy premiere. Yeah, you need a you need like a tripod, tripod or monopod, or monopod. Um, and I have this thing to put on the microphone. I've and got, you need a microphone. You definitely need, you a, microphone. need a microphone. Like, because uh, it's very loud at premieres. And there's there's people like you're blocked in in these tiny little spaces, and you got people on each side of you. They're throwing out questions, and you, the camera's not gonna be able to pick up the, the sound. You want, you want, you want to only get the them speaking. You only want to get and, the actor speaking and yourself speaking. Yeah. So.